Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So for today's video, it's another sit-down video where we finally talk about the things that you need to know before starting med school or what you need to know with the medical school application process. Year is about to end and usually at this time, medical school applications are up. They will release PubMed for you guys, for you guys to apply. So watch this if you're about to start med school or if you're having second thoughts about going to med school i'd say this is a perfect video for you to watch so if you want to be a future doctor then let's continue on with the video so for the first few tips that i will be telling you guys it's more on the application process of med school i know it can be scary and daunting once you move from college to med school it's okay i felt the same way as well and i remember going through my third year in college really getting afraid because of the nmat and mind you guys i actually took the nmat twice and that's okay I mean, some people, they kind of look down on people who have low NMAT scores. But this is my first tip is that NMAT is not the sole criteria for your acceptance in medical school. And it definitely is not the basis of your performance in med school. I know a lot of people who have mediocre NMAT grades, but then they are graduated cum laude, magna cum laude. Of course, we do want a high NMAT score, but if you get a... Um, okay and math score then don't be afraid to take another and math again that's okay it's okay to take your and math twice there's no shame in that it's really more about your discipline and your mindset about these things you know you can do it again you can try again because that's how people actually grow in the long run and if you develop that mindset early on that can actually help you in med school. Trust me, in med school, there are so many times where in exams and quizzes are so hard, and you have to have that certain mindset of you know trying again in case you don't make the grade that you want to get. So this is the perfect time for you to prepare for your end math because also the end of the year, and maybe you can start thinking about your medical school applications. Which and we move to number two, which is if you want to go to med school, maybe you can apply to a lot of med schools. Don't just apply to one med school unless you are super super smart to that extent that all your grades are 99 or A's or you know you're at the top of the class. I'd say um, if you're an average student, actually like me, I'm an average student, I applied to a lot of different med schools. Of course, you do want to get into your dream medical school, but there's no harm in actually applying to multiple schools that you also might want to get into and go into. And if there is something that I do believe in is that if it's for you, it will be for you and God will provide. And of course, number three, it's going to be a leap of faith. I know before you get into med school and you're in college, there's so many thoughts in your head. I remember when I was in college, the first thing I thought was that I won't have enough time for myself anymore. There were so many things that I had in mind, so many what ifs that I had in my head that were running around. But honestly, if there's anything, these are only thoughts. Um, these thoughts were actually, you know, they were not how I experienced med school at all i was able to keep my relationship i was able to see my parents during the break time i was able to have time for myself and i actually got to meet a lot of new people along the way also try to think positive at the end of the day have something to look forward to so maybe you can watch like youtube videos on med school that can actually also reverse what you have in mind you know sometimes our thoughts kind of eat us up so it gives us this kind of anxiety and that is not good for us get into med school being that excited person excited to learn excited to meet new people and be excited to meet new friends because that will actually help you in your next four or five years in med school i guess those are the tips that i can give to you guys prior to going into med school or for med school applications but for the things that you need to know before starting med school when you're actually already in med school these are some of the things that i can give to you guys number one it's a different environment going to be different from college my college i graduated from the ateneo we had a sort of schedule that 
we can choose on our own but my schedule in med school was more of like a high school schedule wherein there were set times where I was in class from 7 to 5 and it was every day we had a few breaks in between compared to when I was in college everyone is also different it's more serious in that sense because of course it's already med school basically it's like your master's degree post-grad everyone's kind of you know have grown older more mature i think <laughs> more mature cherish that sort of environment i know there can be some culture shock that will come with it i had a lot of culture shock going into med school but at the end of the day, looking back, those were some of the things that I actually cherished in med school. So even if it's going to be a new environment for you, don't be afraid to immerse yourself in that form of environment. Keep all your what-ifs on the side and you know, put yourself out there. Learn as much as you can. Number two, the topics are hard. Fisho, biochem, anatomy. These are your first year subjects. So ito yung mga subjects na mag una mong meet along the way in med school and trust me sometimes it can get really overwhelming the first day of my biochem class bigyan kami ng parang handout and nakatitig lang ako sa handout iba iba yung handout every single day what if mag exam na and i tell you i failed my biochem during my first shift so in UST we had four shifts and parang quarter it average all the grades and honestly my first shift grade was line of seven to have that kind of grade during your first few months in med school as in i thought oh no where did i go wrong and lalo na sa anatomy when it comes to anatomy there were so many memorizations yung oi na palang yung origin insertion uh, yung nerve supply yung actions it was so overwhelming for me and i had a lot of struggles with it but honestly, that was when I learned that there are other ways to make it simple. I think I was putting so much pressure on myself in memorizing everything. And instead of familiarizing it, kapag dumadating ng exam, parang nandito na ako. I was using my study habits back in college, which did not work anymore in med school. And I had to do a 360. So I found other ways to learn things easier. So I did familiarization. I did um, also mga flashcards and watched videos. And that actually 101% helped me. My second shift grade was actually 90. So imagine jumping from 73 to a 90. I felt really relieved knowing that, you know, the topics may be hard, but actually there are so many ways to make it easier for you to understand. You just have to, you know, find ways to help you learn it. And also I was not afraid. If I had a hard time, I would just ask my friends my classmates and actually with anatomy videos help me a lot in anatomy sometimes it can be very visual so if you don't see it and you're just reading through it it can get kind of confusing and actually there is a software that can also help you which is kenhub KenHub is a great way for you to learn and study anatomy in a very interactive way. It is an online platform that combines multiple effective tools for learning human anatomy, history, and medical imaging. It helps you study better and makes studying a fun and enjoyable experience with detailed articles, colorful videos, interactive quizzes, high-quality atlas images, diagrams, and so much more. Anatomy study contents are available and like me, I enjoy answering practice test questions first then proceed to watching videos and lectures. Doing pre-tests before studying a topic is helpful, so assess yourself and don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's part of learning. After your pre-test, watch the available videos on the topics you want to focus on for easy understanding. Videos are a perfect way to up your study game because videos provide both audio and visual learning. Videos are divided into content, and you can also check the atlas for more learnings before or after taking a quiz per topic to test your knowledge. Once you are done, Mark your recent topic complete to know you have finished a certain topic. You can also study histology and KenHub has made it easier for you. For premium members, you get a chance to use the muscle anatomy reference charts with summary cheat sheets per system for the origins, insertion, innervation, and function of the muscles. Click the link in the description box down below to get 10% off when getting KenHub Premium. Studying anatomy has made so much more fun and easy with KenHub. Check it out now. So KenHub provides you with videos, flashcards, and also quizzes that can help you memorize, 
do some sort of repetition in your learning anatomy that can help you in the long run. So these were things that have helped me in med school and I'm sure with Ken Hop it can also help you guys in the long run. Next of course is that teamwork is the dream work. When you're actually already a practicing doctor, there are some form of referral system at the end of the day. When it comes to babies, I also have to partner up with OBGYN. Of course, I have to partner up with other specialties that can help me diagnose my patient if ever I have a hard time. If you're having a hard time, as I mentioned, don't be afraid to ask your friends. Don't be, asked, don't be afraid to ask your profs. Don't be afraid to make friends and actually you know, share notes. May mga time sa med school na may mga madadamot sa notes jan. Find your own circle na can help you share your notes. What's the point sa pagiging damot sa notes? The notes are actually very helpful. Also, advice if you make your own notes, please do share it. Wag na maging madamot. If there's anything sa med school, the biggest support system that I had aside from my family was my subsection, my group of Berkada, and of course, my sorority sisters and my um, broad. Hindi yung tipong mag-single out lang kayo, magbibilingan ng trabaho or whatever. At the end of the day, your goal is for all of you to pass. And basically, no one is left behind. No one should be left behind. The next is that I could not stress this enough. Find some sort of wellness in your balance of studying, eating, sleeping, and repeating that whole cycle. Find time for yourself as well. Mabubo ang katalaga if you know you just keep on studying. <laughs> Kasi actually taking a break can help you get yourself be re energized, get your motivation back. Don't feel guilty for taking that rest. Don't feel guilty. Deserve mo yan. So, deserve mo yan. Deserve mo mag rest. Deserve mo talaga magkaroon ng time for yourself because, you know, mental health is something that should be taken care of. And lastly, enjoy med school. I know it's easier said than done, but now as a resident doctor, if I could go back, there's so many memories that I have in med school. Yung mga na naalala ko talaga are the moments that I have with my classmates, with my subsections, with my sorority sisters, my med school barkada. And these were memories that are still up to this day. Pinapag-usapan ba namin when we go to reunions. And it's something that's nice to talk about because it's a shared experience if you go to like especially like for me um wow why am i getting emotional ew <laughs> anyway especially like me i went to med school here in manila and of course i already have plans going back to where i came from or grew up in the province so your classmates of course once you finish med school once you graduate you will all go your separate ways. Kanya kanya na kayo. Baka the next time you see your classmate, as in like married na siya. I know there are gonna be so many changes that will happen after med school. While you're still in med school, enjoy everything. Um, laugh about all the things that are happening. If you make mistakes, that's okay. It's okay to stumble and fall. Med school is not the end of the world as well. If you fail an exam, it's not the end of the world. If anything, ni ko na malala yung mga exams ko before sa med school. Ang naalala ko ay yung times na nagkukumpul kami ng mga kasama na parang hulo, okay, nakabahan na ako? Uh, may alam ka ba? Anong alam mo? Mga things like that. Yun yung mga naalala ko and until now, it's still something we kind of talk about right now. After you graduate, med school will all be a memory. You can just look back on it on pictures and videos. While you're at the moment, enjoy med school because honestly, med school is actually a very fun experience if you make it into a fun experience. Although, of course, maraming hardships that will come along the way. Ako, 100%. I already guys told you the struggles that I had in med school. It's part of med school. So, I do kind of miss med school. <laughs> As you guys saw, I was kind of getting emotional. Honestly, residency, the whole year of my residency, from the people that I was with in med school, onti pala nakita ako. Lalo na with med my med school barkada. So, we got tricks. Just kind of get in touch with um, through social media but like personally because of the busy schedules and not just with work and residency but life in general you know it's harder to make time to see them I guess so sort of things that I wanted to share with you guys and these are the things that you kind of have to put into your mind what you need to know before starting out med school so to you this future doctor that I'm talking to. I hope that you will also enjoy 
your journey to becoming a doctor. This is a long process, but it's actually also an enjoyable process. So make every memory count and enjoy every bit of it. Anyway, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!